What's up everybody, this is Danny, and today I have another budget phone that you definitely need to know about. ZTE has been tearing the budget phone game up all year, and this $130 Grand X4 is no exception. So a big thanks to ZTE for sending this phone out and making this video happen, and stick around until the end of the video because there might be a few surprises for you. If you're looking for a well-rounded phone that won't break the bank, it's incredible what you get with the Grand X4. It's only $130. The build is mostly plastic, but it feels really solid. It's got a nice textured back to it that gives it a nice grip, and the size of the phone is very manageable. It's a simple design, but it gets the job done. You get a nice and large 5.5 inch HD display, and it looks good overall. While the viewing angles might not be as good as a flagship phone, just consider the price point here. I mean, the colors are nice, the display gets plenty bright, and I think you'll enjoy watching your favorite videos on here. There's a single speaker on the back, but it gets really loud. You can watch your favorite YouTube video, TV shows, or movies for a long time, by the way, because this phone has a large 3,140 milliamp hour battery, and the battery life is really good. I was able to get over six hours of screen on time consistently with this phone, so you won't have any trouble getting through an entire day with the Grand X4. If you do need to top it up though, it does come with quick charging built in, so you can charge fast through the USB Type-C port. This is a port that you usually see in higher end phones, so it's nice to see here. There are some capacitive buttons at the bottom so you don't lose any screen real estate, and that middle button also pulsates as a notification light, which is a really nice touch. You also get a micro SD card slot in the SIM tray, which is also a dying trait in smartphones these days. There are 16 gigabytes of internal storage, but you can easily add 64 gigabytes more. If you look on the back, you also get a fingerprint scanner, and you usually don't see these in this kind of price point, so that was really surprising to me. It works well, and I personally like the rear fingerprint scanners, and I know some people don't like it, but it feels natural to me. There is one downside though, there's no NFC, so you can't use it for mobile payments. Powering this budget beast is a quad-core Snapdragon processor clocked in at 1.4 gigahertz and two gigabytes of RAM, and that is enough to keep this phone speedy during use and give it some excellent battery life. This combined with Android 6.0.1 and relatively stock software, I had no problems with performance so far. I do love how minimal ZTE keeps their Android software without heavy overlays. I know some of you will really appreciate this, but there are a few extras here too. You can change the orientation of the capacitive buttons, which is really handy, and you can put navigation keys on the display for better one-handed use, open quick apps with the fingerprint scanner, take a photo or answer calls with the fingerprint scanner, and you can also use the camera as a heart rate monitor. All this built in for $130. It's insane. You also get Bluetooth 4.2 and LTE connectivity to round things out. Wait, I can't forget about the cameras. You do get a 13 megapixel camera on the back and a five megapixel camera on the front for occasional selfies. Both of these cameras produce decent pictures, better than I would ever expect in this class of phone. And the software is also nice, giving you full manual control with some cool modes. The shutter is nice and fast too, with HDR capabilities. And here are a few sample shots. Let me know what you think. You also get 1080p video capture at 30 frames per second. So that's the ZTE Grand X4, and it's a great budget phone. It's available now. Probably the biggest downside is that it's only available on Cricut Wireless, and I wish it was available for everyone, but if you're a Cricut customer, this is a no-brainer. So, since you stuck around until the end of the video, ZTE actually gave me a few of these to give away to you guys, and it's perfect for the holidays. Here is what you need to do to win. Just hit that link down below and find out more information about the Grand X4. And then leave a comment down below and let me know why you want this phone and what is your favorite feature. And you know what? I don't need this one either. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one away on social media. So everything will be linked down below. Make sure you follow me there and the winners will be announced on social media. That's a total of three up for grabs. Good luck to everyone. A big shout out to ZTE for sponsoring this video and giving me the opportunity to give back to you guys. So make sure you smack that like button real quick and subscribe if you enjoyed the content. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching.